Police are looking for a motive after an active duty U.S. sailor opened fire on three civilian employees in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii yesterday, killing two before taking his own life. The shooting happened just days before veterans and their families will head to the base for the 78th anniversary of the Japanese attack. CBS's Mark Liverman reports. And I looked out in time to see the shooter who was, I, I assume he was a sailor because he was in uniform. Uh, Frank is running his head and shoot himself. But investigators say before killing himself, the active duty U.S. sailor whose submarine was docked at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii shot three civilian employees. We're on our way out in the Uber and then uh, he just kind of, everything was on lockdown. We heard the intercom, so we, the gates were closed, so we just kind of hung around out there. Turn around the cars, I'll be up. The attack happened at a shipyard just across from the Pearl Harbor National Memorial. This Saturday will mark the 78th anniversary of the Japanese bombing that launched the U.S. into World War II. Obviously our thoughts are with the families of the victims and everyone involved. Investigators are still trying to determine how a firearm was brought in since personal weapons are not allowed on the base. Also, Hawaii's gun laws are among the strictest in the U.S. Mark Liverman, CBS News, New York. Authorities haven't said if the sailor and the three male civilians had any type of relationship. So far, they haven't released the names of the victims or of the shooter.